I was supposed to head south this week, but um, the rain, 30 mils plus, um, sort of scared me off a bit. Um, hunting solos a bit dodgy at the best of times, um, and going five and a half hours for a day and a half of hunting, I decided against it. Anyway, it is still trickling here at home, but there's a bit of a bit of a dry spell or a bit of a, a brief pause up the mountain, so I'm going to shoot back up there and I'll be a special guest on the next video. I'm going to take Scout out for a run finally. Hopefully if the rain, the snakes are a bit at bay and only being a short trip might be good for him. Uh, I'm super stoked to see what he does. He's been a while since he's been out, but um, Keen has to get out there and um, I'm just going to work the pines um, today and see what we can come up with. Scout. He's already on set. I just saw him pointing in that wind direction to our left. Wind's coming this way. He just caught a whiff a second ago. He must point. Here you go. Oh, I can't wait to get going. Got to get his collar on and that, and then we'll um, go for a walk. He's pretty excited by the looks of it. So he's got his tracking collar on. I got a nice big orange vest. So you can't be mistaken for a wild dog. I really like the vest, but he's pretty excited. He's been on cruising around, doing his thing. We're about to get off now. So this hunt's gonna be a little bit different them on all usual stalks. Um, you really got to point your dog into the wind and really trust him. Now you can see I do all them. You see I do have the long line on. It's been quite a while since I've been out with him so I don't want him to get really excited when he sees something um, or if they do take off to take off after it. Um, you can see he's already air setting now um, and on the way out last time we saw this really big rub which you can see how old it is now so it was pretty recent last time. I'm just going to start him off here and hopefully pick up some scent and we can move into the pines here. Good fun.
fresh one. You see, see here. Right? So I'm pretty intrigued with these rub trees I've been finding in this forest. This looks to be fallow. That's all over that tree. It's all over it. And it's like fresh, like you can see the stick, the sap still on it. It's like very, very recent. So there's still any. Just gotta find them. Just did a walk through the pines, followed a bit of sign, found a few fresh rubs, which is very interesting. Um, the scout only really centered or pointed, if you want to call it, on two occasions. Um, one occasion we did hear some footprints in the pines, but um, it's just very thick in there, very hard to move, so we sort of popped out now to a bit of the native. As you can see, it's a bit more open. We're just doing a sit now. So, yeah, sit for about 45 minutes and then move on. And as I usually do, I'll, I'll move again and then sit for a bit longer all the way up until sunset. But, um, yeah. He's, um, he started off well, but he just likes to, he knows what he's after and he's just sniffing everywhere. So I know it's very different for him, but um, you can definitely tell when he picks up the deer sign. Anyway, we'll keep at it. sit and wait spot. We'll sit either right on dark. All critters are moving about right on dark so um, some people call it the golden hour um, for critters to move and hopefully with the weather the past couple of days and being better down they're really going to come out um, either tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, there's, a, there's a few rub trees along the edge of the pines um, and there's a few game trails here and there. Um, so we'll see how we go in this spot. Um, even a pig would be alright. Um, but yeah, just there's a couple gullies that lead into one here, so we'll just sit and hopefully something moves up. So, day one's coming to an end. Pretty quickly. No real sign apart from those rub trees. No footprints. No scat. But just sitting in the bush, forcing yourself to stay quiet and calm. 
and relaxed is almost peaceful. Now, I've been dragging Scout around all day. Who has not been so peaceful. However, when I sit and stop, he's just happy to stand and chill out. But this does wonders for the body. Just out in the bush, soaking it all in, recharging our life's batteries. Anyway, maybe we've got about another 15 minutes and luckily camp's not too far away. Just gonna duck up there, make a quick dinner and off the bed. Hopefully tomorrow brings a bit more action. So I didn't have the most pleasant sleep last night. I slept in the car. Um, just after daybreak now, so about 15 minutes, half hour too late. But um, anyway, I'm gonna set off and do a big loop this morning and make our way home and get some breakfast in our bellies and head off. Another fresh rub tree. It's very, very odd. Unless they're coming to try and drop their antlers and pop them off. It's very odd that they're so fresh. Big, big. So I'm just walking the edge of this creek bed now, and as you can see, the sun's starting to rise and just touch on that other side. So that's where I expect the deer to be coming out for a feed. If I can find an open enough clearing, I'm going to sit down for a bit. But it's all pretty thick in here. Starting to lose a bit of confidence now. Just missed two shots on a fox. So it makes three consecutive shots missed for Maruga. Um, I don't know. First shot was just over 100, maybe 120. He was moving, but only slowly across the edge of the pines. Um, and the second shot, I just brought him back in and he sort of sat at 80 metres. And I don't know. Um, I do have a rifle sighted into an inch and a half high at 100. 200, it's half inch low. So maybe I didn't factor that in enough. I don't know. Back to the range. I could have knocked it. Could just be me. Um, I did have my dog with me who is in a long line tied to me so he was pulling me around a bit but uh, once again all just excuses. 80 metres. Really should have plugged him. Yeah, I don't know. Frustration. Um, I just really don't want this lack of confidence to creep in. Um, definitely need to go to the range and put a bunch of rounds through just to get that confidence back up. Okay, well it's only a morning hunt and then we're heading home for for lunch to catch up for the family. So, not long and that'll be it.
And that's a wrap on this trip. Um, very good thing to reiterate for new state forest hunters is that it doesn't always come together. And even when you do see something or it does come together, you need to make it count. And as I didn't with the fox today. So um, there'll be lots of tough trips and lots of times you don't even see a thing. So take that in your stride and just keep working. Um, it's tough. It's, it's hard and you have to be 100% ready or more than 100% ready for that shot when you are given, finally given that chance. Um, to make the most of it. So keep at it guys um, and wait till the next one.